let's take an example 4x square minus 7x plus 15 here we know that 15 times 4 is 60 and 60 can be um, factor out in different ways various ways okay so 20 times 3 is 60 difference is of course 17 similarly 12 times 5 is also 60 and their sum is also 17 so there are various ways to choose from okay so now we are confirmed that this quadratic polynomial can be factored into two binomials let's write down in this way so 4x leave some space here 4x leave some space here okay so why i choose 12 times 5 is 12 plus 5 will give us 17 okay and if i choose negative 12 times negative 5 then i will be getting negative 12 plus negative 5 is negative 17 okay so that's why i choose negative 12 and negative 5 let's write down here so 4x minus negative 12 and 4x minus 5 okay here you can see in the first factor 4 is common between 4x and 12 okay so let's factor that out if we write down 4 outside of the parenthesis then we'll be getting 4 times x is 4x minus 4 times 3 is 12 okay similarly 4x minus 5 they don't have anything in common now the correct factors for the quadratic polynomials are simply x minus 3 and 4x minus 5 okay we ignore the common quantity now let us check whether these factors are correct or not x minus 3 times 4x minus 5 so thus we have 4x square minus 17 x plus 50 thus we get the original quadratic polynomial so our factor x minus 3 and 4x minus 5 are correct okay let's take another example 9x squared plus 12x minus 5 9 times negative 5 is negative 45 so we know that 15 and 3 the difference is 12 and now we want to choose the place choose where does this negative go it should go to negative 3 instead of 15 okay since 15 minus 3 will give us 12 so 9x 9x there are two factors right so 9x minus 3 let us write in this way and similarly 9x plus 15 we can write in this then so here in the first factor you can see 3 is common 3 times 3 is 9 so that's 3x minus 1 3 times 3x is 9x 3 times 5 positive 5 is 15 okay thus our correct factors are 3x minus 1 times 3x plus 5 we ignore the common quantities now to see whether this factorization is correct or not we so 3x times 3x is 9x square thus we get 9x square 15 minus 3 is 12 12x minus 5 thus we get the same original quadratic polynomial thus our factorization is correct let's take another problem which is 1 plus p minus 2p square in this case first we arrange the terms in descending order let us take negative 1 common from all of those three terms okay then that will give us negative 1 okay so negative 1 times 2p square is negative 2p square similarly since we have positive so negative 1 times negative 1 will be positive so that's why we write negative p in here now let's factorize it so 2 minus negative 1 is negative 2 let's write negative 2 as negative 2 times 1 after doing this then we can clearly see that negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 okay negative 1 2p 2p we would go for negative 2 
let's write a negative 2 in here and 1 is there so that's positive 1 that's negative 1 times 2 this is p minus 1 and this is 2p plus 1 2p plus 1 okay thus we can simply uh, ignore this 2 okay not this negative 1 so it would be negative 1 times p minus 1 2p minus plus 1 that's our correct factorization okay here we ignore 2 but negative 1 is inherent in here so we don't negate that okay then this will give us negative 1 thus we get negative 1 and thus we get the same fact okay and if we multiply this thing is negative 2p square plus p plus 1 so our factorization is correct